two charges, negative q and negative 81q, are a distance d apart, determine the point other than infinity at which the net electric field is zero. There are two point charges producing electric field. So in order for the net electric field to be zero, the two fields produced by the two charges must be equal and opposite so they can cancel. That means that location where the electric field is zero must be somewhere along this line. And because the two fields have to be equal, the location must be closer to the weaker charge. That means the if it's in be the loca if the location is in between the two charges, it must be like over here, closer to the weaker charge. Or if it's outside, it must be on the right side, so that it can be closer to the weaker charge. Now, which point do you think will work out for this problem? Let's see. The field produced by the negative charge will go into the negative charge, into the negative charge. That means uh, those two fields, they are going to be in the same direction. That means that they can never cancel. So this one does not work. It, the one in between the two charges will work because uh, the field produced by the negative 81 goes into the negative charge. The field produced by the negative Q goes uh, into the negative charge. They are opposite so they have a chance to cancel. So let's say the location is right here and we have to find the exact location so we have to find the distance x. Now we need to write an equation so we can use it to solve the distance x. So the field produced by the negative 81q over here has to equal to the field produced by the negative q at that same location. So these two fields have to be equal. The field produced by a point charge is kq over r squared. For this one, the charge is 81q. Remember, I do not plug in the sign, or I only use the equation to find the magnitude of the field. And the distance here is d minus x. The field produced by the negative q over here would be k be q, 1q, divided by the distance x squared. So the k's cancel, the q's cancel, and if I pr cross multiply right now, I'm going to have a quadratic equation. To avoid the quadratic equation, I'm going to take the square root first. And so I get 9 divided by d minus x equals to 1 divided by x. Now I can cross multiply and I'll get 9x equals to d minus x, so x is 1 tenth d. Or I can use the ratio to do this because I know kq1 over r1 squared has to equal to kq2 over r2 squared. That means if the charge is 81 to 1, then the r squared will also have to be 81 to 1 because 81 divided by 81 equals to 1 divided by 1. So this means r has to be 9, take square root on both sides, 9 to 1. And the distance is d minus x and the x. So the distance d minus x to x has to be 9 to 1. And if we solve this, you'll get exactly the same thing. This type of problem is actually the same as the problem we did back in 6th static electricity lesson. In that lesson, the problem asks it for a location to place a third charge Q3. So the net electric force on Q3 is 0. That problem and this one, they are the same type of questions asked in two different ways. The net electric field is zero over here. So if we place a third charge Q3 over here, the net electric force on Q3 would be F equals to QE. We're placing Q3 in an electric field that is zero. That means the force 
the net electric force on Q3 would be zero, doesn't matter what type of charge Q3 has. It doesn't matter how much Q3 is. That's why in that other problem, it does not have to say what Q3 is at all. This type of problem can also show up in the gravitation unit. For example, the mass of the Earth happens to be about 81 times that of the Moon. So kind of like these two charges, 81Q and 1Q. This is 81M and 1M because the format of Newton's law of gravitation is very similar to that of the Coulomb's law. So this kind of problem will be just like that one, which means uh, if I have a spaceship that is uh, at this location one-tenth of the total distance away from the moon, the gravitational force from the Earth and the moon combined together on that spaceship would be zero. Now what if I change this charge to positive 1Q, so the two charges they carry opposite signs? Where would the electric field be zero? In order for the net electric field to be zero, the two electric fields produced by the two charges again have to be equal and opposite so they can cancel. That means that we still have to be closer to the weaker charge. But this time it has to be out here. So this distance is uh, x, and let's find the x. The reason why it has to be out here is because uh, the electric field produced by the negative charge goes into the negative charge. The field produced by the positive charge goes out of the positive charge. They are in opposite directions, so they have a chance to cancel. If I put it in between, the two fields will be in the same direction, and therefore they can never cancel. So now we need the electric field produced by the 81Q, negative 81Q, at this location to be equal to the field produced by the positive 1Q at that same location to be equal. The field would be KQ, 81Q, divided by the distance squared. The distance now is D plus X. The field produced by the 1Q would be K 1Q divided by the distance X squared. So again, K's cancel, Q's cancel, and uh, to avoid the quadratic equation, I'm going to take square root on both sides first. And like this gives me 9 divided by D plus X equals to 1 divided by X. So now if I cross multiply, I'm going to get 9x equals to d plus x, so x equals to 1 eighth of d.